In this video, we're going to learn how to summarize a relational database using Tableau. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open Tableau and I'm going to connect to a Microsoft Excel file. I'm going to navigate to where I have the file saved. It might be in your downloads folder. And I have now opened my workbook. Since there's more than one uh, sheet, what we need to do is we need to drag the tables to our white area on top. Now first, what we want to do, it's very important, all the other tables feed into the orders table. The orders table is on top, and all of the other tables define fields in the orders table. So we do want to drag the orders table in first. We really care about the hierarchy. Now, after we've dragged the orders table in, we can now drag the other tables in any order. So I'm going to drag institutions. Notice how it creates the relationship school code to school code. Now we could always edit this relationship, and if the name wasn't exactly the same, we could force the relationship but because in this database I made sure that the names were the same, even across different tabs, that it created the relationship automatically. So it knows that school code goes to school code, so we don't have to edit the relationship, we can just close it. Now I want to bring in the products table, and notice it's going to do the same thing. It's going to create a relationship between the order table, and we have product code to product code. It likes the relationship, so we can just close the window. And now we're just going to drag salespeople as well into the white area. And notice how it creates the relationship from salesperson code to salesperson code, and we're good to go. Now at this point, believe it or not, we're ready to start preparing our charts and graphs. So I'm going to close this relationship, and I'm going to go to Worksheet 1. And one of the nice things about Tableau is, unlike Excel, we don't have to bring the fields in in order to create the measures. So right now I'm going to create a measure for revenue, I'm going to create a rev measure for cost, and I'm going to create a measure for profit. But realize this is just a very beginning lesson, so some of the measures may not work quite right aggregated, so I would definitely check the numbers. So let's get going. The first one, that first chart that we're going to do is we wanted to do the top five salespeople by revenue. So I'm going to click Analysis and then Create Calculated Field. I'm going to call Calculation 1 Revenue. Now I'm going to click in the white box. Now to click in the white box, you're going to notice on the left hand side that some of my fields over here have ABC. I can't use them in the calculation, but some of them have a pound sign. Those are actually numbers and those I can use in a calculation. So to calculate my revenue, I want to, from the orders table, take units sold. So I'm going to start typing the letter U. And pound units sold comes up first. Notice I can use functions or um, other, but I'm going to double click units sold. Notice how it brings in the field in the brackets. I have to make sure that it's not blue. Otherwise, when I type the asterisk, it's going to go away. So I'm going to click after the field and make sure it's not blue. Now I'm going to type an asterisk and I want to multiply units sold by price per book. So I'm going to start typing the letter P. A few things come up. If a lot of things come up, you can always start to type PR and notice it narrows down the list. The second one on there is price per book. So I'm going to single click price per book. With Tableau, you have to wait until it says the calculation is valid. Once it says the calculation is valid, we can click OK. Now I'm going to create my second measure. 
which is going to be cost. So to do that, I'm going to click Analysis and create Calculated Field. Calculation, the second calculation is going to be called Cost. I'm going to click in the white box and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to type, start typing UN because I want to do the unit sold. And this time I want to multiply it by the cost per book. So this time I'm going to single click unit sold. Now I can just type an asterisk because it's not blued out. And I'm going to start typing the letter C. I have a long list, so I'm going to start typing CO. There's my cost per book. So I'm going to single click cost per book. I wait until the calculation is valid. And I click OK. The third measure that we're going to create is profit, which is cost minus revenue. So we could use our new measure names to create a measure. So I'm going to click Analysis and Create Calculated Field. This one I will call Profit. Click in the white box. Start typing REB. There's my pound revenue. Single click it. Now I type a minus sign so I can use any mathematical operation. And I want to subtract the cost, so I'm going to start, start typing COS. And there's my cost. I want cost, not cost per book. So I will single click cost, wait until it says the calculation is valid, and click OK. If you wanted to calculate commission, that would be very easy. You just create another measure where you take the revenue and multiply it by the commission rate, but none of our charts depend upon that. So let's get going because the other two videos were long. Tableau does this very easily. So top five salespeople by revenue. From the salesperson people table, I'm going to drag the salesperson field and I'm just going to drag it where it says drop field here on the left hand side and I have all of my salespeople. Now we wanted revenue so I'm just going to drag the revenue field over where it says ABC next to the salespeople and I have now calculated my revenue by salesperson. If you don't see the show me on the left hand side, all you need to do is click the show me and it shows you all of the tables, all of the charts, excuse me, that are available for the data that you have. So we could very easily change this into a bar chart. That doesn't look very good. We can change it into a different type of column chart. That one's not available or we can change it into an area chart. I like the bar chart, although we can always just on the upper left hand corner keep it as a table as well. The second chart that we were going to do is a pie chart of profit by region. So down next to on the bottom left hand side where it says sheet one, I'm going to click the button that says new worksheet. I'm going to create sheet two. Now from the products, no, excuse me, institutions. I'm going to drag region into the drop field here on the left hand side where it says sheet two. For our second table, we wanted profit by region. So under measure names, I'm going to drag profit over to where it says ABC next to our region names on sheet two. Now I have my profit by region and under the show me, remember if you don't see the show me, all you have to do is click show me. And now I can very easily create a pie chart. And to make that bigger, we click format, cell size, and bigger. Now notice next to bigger, it says control shift B. So if you don't want to keep clicking format cell size bigger, format cell size bigger, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down control and shift and just keep hitting B, 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 B over again. So first I'm going to click the bigger. Now I'm going to do control and shift and B, then just hit holding down control shift B, 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 B. And very quickly, because I know my other videos were long, but 
to make this pie chart a little bit better, what we can do is we can drag region from institutions over into label. So drag it over where it says label until label is dragged out under the marks. And we now have each one of the regions. And I can also drag revenue from the measure name. And I'm also going to drag that over label so that the label box is grayed out in the marks area to the left of the chart. So I have each of my regions and the total revenue from each of the regions. Notice how it's taking a lot less time and it's a lot easier with Tableau. The third chart that we're going to do is a map chart of states by revenue. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click the new worksheet to the right of the sheet 2 tab. And what's very important, notice my state under the tables, my state field has a little globe next to it. If you don't have a globe, then you cannot do map charts. But as long as you have a globe, as long as you have something that Tableau recognizes as geographic, you can create map charts. So I'm going to drag state into drop field here. And we wanted revenue. So from the measure names, so I'm going to drag revenue over where it says ABC. And notice now under the show me, the map is now activated. So I can just click the map. And I have a map chart which shows me all of the different revenue. And I can actually do a different measure by color. So for example, unit sold or profit can be done by color. But we now have a very, very nice map chart. And you can change the different background maps if you would like um, to make your map chart look very nice. OK, we've now done three out of four. The last one that we want is a column chart of the top 10 products. So I'm going to click New Worksheet. And to do the column chart of the top 10 products, from Products, I'm going to uh, drag Book Name over to Drop Field here in Sheet 4. We wanted that by Profit. So I'm going to drag the profit field over to where it says ABC. And since we have a lot of products, we want to filter our products once again to display the top 10. So I'm going to drag book name from the left hand side. I'm going to drag book name into the area filter to the left of sheet 4. And it's going to ask the filter so I can select which ones I want from a list. I can do a custom value list. I can do a wild card so I can do every book that starts with the letter O or whatever I want or that ends with the letter K. I can do a condition by field. So the revenue has to be at least a certain amount or the profit has to be under a certain amount. But notice I have a tab for top. So now I'm going to, instead of none, I'm going to click the radio button by field. I can also do it by formula. So this one, we did want to do the top 10. And notice we don't have to do it by profit. I could do the top 10 by revenue or by units sold. But I'm going to do the top 10 by the sum of the profit. So I'm going to click OK. I have now filtered my list. So all I have to do now to create a column chart is here we want a bar chart. So I'm just going to click the bar chart and I now have a bar chart of my top selling books. And once again, I can drag the profit or the revenue into the label. Now going back for a minute to sheet one, I was rushing through. So I'm going to click back on sheet one. In sheet one, we were also supposed to filter this for the top five salespeople by revenue. So in order to do this once again, I'm just going to drag the field salesperson into the filters. What's really nice is that I could filter this by a field that's not 
included in the chart. So I could choose only the ones from a certain region or only the ones that service a particular school, which is very nice. So once again, once I drag salesperson into the filter, I'm going to click the top. I'm going to do field. Instead of top 10, notice I can do enter a value or create a new parameter. So I'm just going to backspace for the 10 and choose 5 and the top 5 by revenue and click OK. And now I've been able to do that and I can create my chart if that's what I want or once again go back to the table.